Hello everybody, this is Tim from Berkshire Drop Brokers on board this 1982 Fairline 32 sedan for a look around her interior and cockpit in virtual reality. So what does that mean to you? That means you can look around when you like, where you like, you don't have to look where I'm looking. All you need to do is swipe or click and drag your screen up, down, left or right. And we hope this really amazing new facility allows you to feel what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. How cool is that? Some people are a bit sensitive to the camera movement, so if you feel that may be you, I'll let you know when I'm going to move the camera, and then I'll let you know when the camera is safely down and you can return to the tour with me. But let's hope that doesn't happen. So let's have a look around this lovely boat, shall we? So here we are, we're in the cockpit. I'm smiling because she seems like a really lovely boat. We've got a really decent sized cockpit here. We've got the seat that runs athwart ships here, so lots of seating for everybody. And above us, we've got this really, really nice looking spray hood stroke cockpit tent. So this is keeping all the weather off. It's keeping the heat in, the rain out, and it's generally giving us uh, a, another area to use outside, but inside, if you see what I mean. We've got cockpit lockers either side. We've got companion ways either side as well. So the sides roll up, allowing us to get over the, the combings there, in and out, no problem at all. And if you want to take it all down to get the wind through our hair, we can. How's, how nice is that? Um, looking, uh, let's look down. We've got a lovely, massive, great big engine hatch here. So this all lifts up for you just at the flick of a switch. So really great access down to the engines there. No worries at all. And we've got the fittings for the cockpit table as well, which is great. Now looking forwards, if I just, uh, I'll come and join you on the, uh, on the bench seat here. Looking forwards, what do I see? Well, I see uh, access to the flybridge there. Nice ladder straight up there, no problem at all. And I also see really lovely French windows. Now I like these on boats because if you close them, notice how nice and easy it is to close. That's it closed, that's it nice and open. One-handed, very nice and smooth. When the door's open, it's out of the way and it means it's not flapping around and, uh, and getting in, taking space up, etc. So I really, really like that solution. And it means we can walk through over the hatchway inside really, really nice and easily. Absolutely lovely. So let's pick the camera up for the first time and I'll take you through to the saloon where you will be just simply amazed if I just place you there on the helm seat, you'll be simply amazed at the amount of space in here if I can get the camera to sit still. I mean if we just look around we can see it's vast in here. I'll just uh, make my way out to the cockpit. So uh, here we go, just a quick step into the saloon. I'm five foot nine, loads and loads of headroom, well over six feet. It's feeling like a vast, vast saloon area. Maybe even too big, who knows? But there's not much furniture in here, apart from over on the port side here. We've got this long bench seat here, which uh, also doubles as a single berth. Beneath my feet, under this rug here, we've got a hatchway that allows access to the build, so room under there for storage as well. And on the starboard side here, you can see we've got this really nice uh, cupboard stroke drawers affair here, which the current owner has placed a TV on, and we've got a fiddle shelf on board as well, on, on, on top, sorry. So feeling uh, very spacious in here, I think there'd be room for a couple more chairs or a table in here, perhaps whatever you would like to do with it. Now, looking around, you can see we've got the vinyl trim everywhere. Uh, looks in reasonable condition for a boat of her age. We've got, we've got the same on, the, uh, on the, the, head, the, the headlining here as well. And again, although that's sagged there, it hasn't come down. Um, looking pretty good to me, I'm quite impressed. Uh, the camera is sitting on what looks like a very, very nice and comfortable helm seat, which is fantastic. And if you just look forwards, at, the, uh, at the, the console here, you can see that we've got wheel steering, we've got the throttles over in the corner there, so we've got control of both engines there. Electrics panel, we've got control for the uh, outdrive trims, we've got fuel contents indicators, we've got rudder angle indicator as well, and we've got both sets of engine instrumentation here again, so we've got the engine coolant, engine uh, oil pressure, engine speed, battery levels, that kind of thing. But generally speaking, Nice comprehensive set of instruments there, which should give you everything you need for safe coastal navigation. The instruments on here do look a bit aged in, in places, but uh, if they work, then uh, they should be fine for you. But some people may want to upgrade those, um, but that would depend on you. Um, so let's pick you up now and we'll take you down stairs. So very, very nice, easy, two steps down. I'll place you on the saloon table there and retreat and let you take in the ambience of the 
dining area and the galley. Now as you can see again another large area. Lots going on in here but there's still plenty of room. Great access through the companionway here through to the forward cabin in the heads. It's nice and light down here by virtue of the fact we've got windows either side in the superstructure but also above us here loads of light just flowing through to this aperture down here so even though we've stepped down into the boat feeling nice light and airy which is what we always like. Now the galley itself a forward and after fare, small linear galley. If I just come down, we can see we've got uh, lots of work surface when it's all closed down. But if we open it up, here we go. Hey presto, we've got access to the twin burner cooker, grill and oven. Not gimbaled like yachts would be, but uh, that's not too much of a problem. We've got the, uh, the pan steadiers there, but uh, looking like a, like a good place to cook. If we just close that down, there we go. We can and lift the other one up, we can see we've got uh, a sink underneath. You may not be able to see it there. We've got a nice sink here and a bit of a draining area there too. And just looking around the whole galley, we've got uh, lots and lots of opening cupboards and stowages there. So plenty of room down here. And uh, I think that uh, if I was cooking in the galley, I'd feel nice, nice and safe. Lots of things to brace on, but also really nice and easy to pass stuff and receive stuff from the saloon but nice and easy to pass to and from the, the, uh, the saloon table as well. Just a great design and it works because that's why these boats are popular. The, uh, on the starboard side where you are, luckily you, sitting uh, almost in the middle of the saloon table which uh, uh, we can convert into a double if we need to by the looks of it. We've got U-shaped seating, we've got storage below that. Plenty of head height down here again, well over six feet. Windows giving us light. Um, and just generally feeling like a nice place to sit and eat your dinner. Great comms with the person in the galley, great comms with the saloon as well. And if you just shout a bit louder, you'll be able to talk around to the helm to slow him down if he's going a little bit too quickly and it's too bumpy for you. But uh, generally a nice area to be in. I like it very much. Well done, Fairline. Right then, let's pick you up again. Take you forwards into the forward cabin. I'll place you midships almost. There we go. So you're sitting on the forward V-berth. Now if you look around again you can see we've got loads of head height although it does dip down as we go forwards because these are the forward windows in the, in the coach roof and this is underneath the foredeck. Plenty of room though because pretty much all you're going to be doing in here is sleeping. We have the infill behind us so here we've got two cushions and the piece of wood that fit here to make um, a nice big wide double bed. I don't think the, uh, the bed's not particularly long so you might be sort of cozying up a little bit but um, generally speaking I think for a pair of adults for a weekend or longer you'd be quite comfortable in here. We have storage beneath the berths as well and if I look behind this door you can see we've got a nice big hanging locker there too so uh, room for all your bits and pieces with a fiddle shelf on top. And also we have the microwave there which can be just swung 90 degrees to allow you to, to uh, take food from it through the hole in the bulkhead here. No problem at all. Really nice cabin. Right then, if I come into the cabin and open the door to the head, I'll take you through to the head's compartment and I'll just place you at the back there. Hopefully you can see okay. And uh, talk a little bit about this space. So first of all, lots of headroom, lots of light coming in, quite a dark kind of, uh, the, the, the gel coat here is quite dark, but uh, it looks really nice and easy to clean, lots of soft radiuses or radii, um, so it should be a nice area to keep clean. We've got a cupboard behind the sink, we've got a nice deep sink, a cupboard under the sink, manual head, and of course we've got the shower as well. No shower curtain, but uh, this area generally should all drain down into that part of the boat there and away, which is great. But uh, for, for a boat of this size, a really, really large compartment. Once you're in, you've got loads of headroom, loads of room to move about, and we're not in that kind of slightly um, cramped yacht toilet or yacht head. But I'll just close that door so you'll be alone for one moment. And hey presto, here we are in this door. This is called a Jack and Jill affair, so that means that the occupants of this part of the boat can get into the head and do their business without disturbing the occupants of the forward cabin and also the occupants of the forward cabin can go and do what they need to do in here without disturbing the rest of the boat. Really great idea, tried and tested, works very well. So let's pick the camera up for the final time, there we go. And I'll take you back up to the saloon and place you in a slightly different area. So this has been Tim from Boatshed Brighton just showing you around this Fairline 32 sedan. So we've seen a lovely great big cockpit, plenty of seating and we've got the spray hood and the cockpit tent etc so another little room out there effectively. This massive saloon, loads of room, loads of room, bit of seating, 
bit of furniture here, but uh, room for more if you want it. Really nice and comprehensive uh, helm set up here, so we're going to have a nice seat. Uh, all the instruments that I think we would need to operate this boat safely uh, for, and for navigation. Lots of windows letting light flood in and the ability for us to see out too. And up forward you've got the nice galley there, really nice and easy to use. Really great uh, saloon seating down there. The forward cabin, plenty of room in there and uh, also the really large heads saloon, uh, sorry, heads compartment. So thanks for watching, it's been really nice to have you along on this boat. Uh, I hope you can appreciate uh, what she's like and where everything is. If you'd like any more information, just go to boatshipbrighton.com for lots more pictures, videos and virtual reality. Take care.